inside the text area. So we use, uh, again, we reference, or no, for the first time, we reference text area. And then we need to say dot key up. And inside of here, we need to create a function. And this function is going to happen every time a key is raised um, when, when text is being typed into this text area. So let's think about what we need to do. We first of all need to grab the length of the text inside of this text area. So we can do that with a combination of jQuery and raw JavaScript as well. So let's create a new variable, and this is going to be called text length. I'm going to make this equal to, again, with reference to text area, we're going to say dot val. Now, dot val gets the value of the text that's inside the text area. So, for example, on this function key up, on this event handler key up, if I was to type Alex, for every time I've pressed a key, the value is now Alex. So the first value was A, then I typed L, then I typed E and X. Now the current value is Alex, therefore this text length is now equal to Alex. So despite the fact that our variable is called text length, we still don't have the length. However, in JavaScript, we can use dot length without the uh, parentheses. And what this will do is it will take the length of this value of this text area. So now text length is equal to four as opposed to Alex. Okay, so now we can create a basic sum to deduct the amount, the, the length of the text from the maximum value. So we can create a new variable called text remaining and we can make this equal to text max minus text length. So this will be 55 minus, and in this case, 4, which would equal 51. And therefore, this would have displayed 51 had we have had this in place beforehand. Now that we've created these two variables, we want to finally uh, output this to the text area feedback div. So we can say dollar and we reference text area feedback then we say dot html as we did up here with this um, function up here and then we say um, text underscore remaining plus and then we do exactly the same as we did up here characters remaining now the reason we initially did this is because we would have had to wait for a key to be pressed and released in order to actually put some information into this text area feedback div. So at first we initiated this by putting the maximum amount of characters remaining into the box before the user has typed anything. That way we don't have to wait for the user to press a key in order for anything to be displayed in this feedback area. So now that we've done that, this should work, so we can go ahead and refresh the page and start typing. So initially we have 55 characters remaining, I've just explained uh, how we did that. Now as soon as we start typing, what will happen? Well, we'll grab the value of the text area, deduct it from the maximum characters, and display it back out in this area. So let's just start to type, and you can see the uh, character count decreases. So as we type, um, Let's just say I'm typing something in this text area. I hope it will all. Okay, so I was going to type, I hope it will all fit, but now we are at zero characters remaining. So we've performed some front end validation, essentially it is validation of our form. We've cut the user off um, using the max length attribute in the text area. However, we've given the user feedback as to how many characters are remaining. Now, obviously uh, an HTML form can be modified and the max length attribute could have been removed. So it's always best to, when you submit this data, um, check in the back end as well. Obviously we're not gonna be looking at that in this tutorial because this is jQuery. However, if you were using PHP, for example, you could use the strlen function to check this. So make sure you, as well as checking on the front end, also check on the back end as well. So that's how to create a dynamic characters remain encounter in jQuery, much like you'd find on a lot of websites.